Hello everyone, in this video we will draw and label the scheme of the parotid gland. The parotid gland is the largest salivary gland. Uh, it is a compound branched axillary gland that produces a purely zero secretion. Parotid gland is surrounded by fibrous capsule. And there are also fibrous septa, which are uh, spreading from the fibrous capsule. And uh, these septa divided the parenchyma into ilbules and contains uh, vessels, uh, which contains smooth muscle si cells in their wall and inside uh, you can find erythrocytes and uh, the uh, septa also contains interlobular duct which is uh, aligned by simple columnar epithelium Larger interlobular duct uh, is lined by stratified columnar epithelium. So elongated cells with elongated nuclei. Uh, in the uh, lobuli, in the parenchyma, there are uh, secretory units, acini, uh, which uh, are composed by serous cells. Serous cells have a pyramidal shape. And around nuclei, in the basal compartment, And their cytoplasm contains abundant raw endoplasmic uh, reticulum and a lot of uh, ribosomes. So the serous cells are basophilic due to protosynthetic activity. Very dark cells uh, the acini are uh, surrounded by a large amount of uh, fat cells the fat is uh, dissolved uh, during the routinely histological uh, processing when we use the organic uh, solvent so the cells are empty because the fat uh, from uh, a huge vacuole in the cytoplasm uh, disappeared. And the nucleus is the periphery located. So this is the fat cells. Uh, the intercalated ducts uh, which uh, drain serous acini are lined by simple squamous epithelium. Um, these cells are not good visible in uh, the histological slide, so I will not draw in the scheme uh, neither. But in the uh, lobuli of uh, parotid gland, there are uh, striated uh, ducts which are lined by simple uh, cuboidal epithelium. Cuboidal cells have uh, around nuclei and striatic ducts uh, contains uh, basal lateral uh, enfoldings 
visible microscopically as a restoration of the cytoplasm and uh, mitochondria uh, are uh, located between these encodings. So the, these cells are eosinophilic, uh, very uh, intense uh, pink color. So that's all. Now we uh, describe the scheme. So here is a fibrose capsule. Zeros SNA. with the basophilic cells fat cells also adipocytes interlobular duct with simple columnar epithelium blood vessel Interlobular connective tissue, which forms septa, and here is intra lobular duct, concretely striated. So that's all. Thank you very much for your attention.